todos me dicen el negro llorona negro pero cariñoso todos me dicen el negro llorona negro pero cariñoso yo soy como el chile one of the great things that we saw in this altar exhibit was how people reacted to him. Some folks didn't know who Freddie Fender was, and the ones that did, before they walked up to the to the actual altar, they were already singing his songs. So it's great to see that connection that everyone felt, and everyone really loved seeing the Selena uh, altar because it actually had real photos from someone who was really, really close to her, and it made our our guests feel like they were close to her as well like looking through an old family album and knowing the little things about Selena like knowing that she liked M&M's and liked eating pizza those were quite a few things that a lot of people reacted to and we're, we're really excited to to experience that just learning that and it's it's a healing process as well you know it, from grief or it gives you joy and it's it's really a, a very precious moment for a lot of people that that do create them and a lot of people that feel the impact from them learned that a, a lot of folks don't really follow this tradition and they're really learning about it and we were really excited that we gave them an opportunity to learn it and some other uh, some other guests came in and they are very familiar with the tradition and they were very excited to feel the ambiance that we created here um, the smell of the the copal which is an incense that's uh, used in altars also the marigolds and you know, the marigold flower which is like the uh, orange goldish type of flower that you'll see and it's very very common that you'll see those around altars um, and in the Mexican tradition what's very very popular is also creating uh, paper flowers out of paper tissue and cutting what we call um, papel picado which is really nice that they have a lot of uh, symbolism in the cuts that they that they do Aunque me cueste